like to introduce 9-in-1 smart soil meter. The meter can be powered by two methods. One is power the meter by the battery. All the meter can be powered by an adapter. Here is the DC jack on the left side. The meter is with SD card recording function. Before using SD card recording function, insert the SD card to the slot. And there is a rubber to protect the meter. Put the meter into the rubber. Before measurement, connect connector to the meter and lock it tightly. There are two sensors of the meter. One is deep soil sensor and another one is shallow soil sensor. will turn off automatically if there is no use for 15 minutes. To turn off the function, long press hold button and power button together. There is an N on the screen, means the function has been disabled. Meter features power reminder function, short press CL button. The battery icon will show on the screen. Now, if the voltage is lower than 66.4, you will see the reminder like this feature. If you don't want to use this function, short press here again. The icon will dis disappear on the screen. There are two recording modes. One is auto recording. Short press set button to talk to manual recording mode. Now I want to introduce auto recording function first. After the mode be selected, short press power button. It will take about 10 seconds to warm up. After warming up, the value will show on the screen automatically. If you want to use the meter at night or in the darkness, long press ADJ button to turn on the backlight function. Long press ADJ buttons again to turn off the light. Now the value shows the shallow soil's value. Here is pH conductivity moisture and the temperature. To see the nitrogen value, short press set button. You can see the nitrogen value, phosphorus value, potassium value, and uh, deep soil sensors value. Short press that button again to return general measurement. For using recording function, please check your SD card has been inserted or not. If SD card be inserted, here will show SD card icon. Long press that button. You can set the sample rate. The default is 300 seconds. Short press hold button can increase the value. And short press ADJ button, you can decrease the sample rate. 
after the sample rack be selected. Press mod button and unit buttons together to save the value. It will show as a here. Long press set button to set year and date. Short press unit to talk to months, day, hours, minutes, and seconds. Short press hold button can increase the value. Short press IDJ button can decrease the value. Once the value has been set, press mode button and the unit button together to set the value. It will show as a here. Long press set button again to return measurement mode. If the sample rate is set uh, every 15 seconds, the SD card icon will flash every 15 seconds, like this. Next, I will introduce manual recording function. Press hold button and power button together to power on the meter. And the short press set button to talk to user manual recording mode. Short press power button again to enter the mode. Now you can see the MEM is flashing. Short press power button. It will take about 5 to 16 seconds to detect the value. There is a 99 point re recording function of user manual mode. Short press mode button can record the value. And uh, you can record at least uh, 99 points uh, data. To see the history data, long press set button you will see the recording data. Short press hold button. You can see next recording. And the short press ADJ button. You can see the previous data. If the data haven't, hasn't been recorded, it will show dash like this. To clear all data here, don't press mode button until REC0 is appear. Now all the data has been cleared. Don't press set button again to return measurement mode. To calibrate standard deviation, don't press set button, IDJ button, and the power buttons together. It will show pH compensation mode first. Short press hold button can increase the value. And the short ADJ button can decrease the value. Once the value be set, long press mode button and the unit buttons together to save the value. It will show SA here, means the value has been set. Short press set button can talk to conductivity, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, composition mode. And after the value be calibrated, Turn off the meter by long pressing power button.
The data can be stored by SD card, or you can upload the data to our cloud by Bluetooth app. This is a Bluetooth app. Before using app, turn on Bluetooth function on your smartphone or tablet. And find the soil meter device name. Finish. And open the app. Connect to Bluetooth device. You will find soil meter. If the screen shows Mac number, means the meter has been connected. Click this icon. It will show the major value here. Click upload icon here. You can upload the value to the cloud. It will take about 15 seconds to upload data. You will see the notice like this. Means the data has been uploaded. And you also can enter the place you measured, like garden. Enter. And where the data be uploaded. Now you can see the history data. Click data icon. You can see the data we has recorded before. And we also can share the data to live friends or WeChat. The data will be saved as an Excel file. Open the data. And you will see the history recording. Or you can open your QR code picture. It will read the place you have made and upload the data. Here we also can upload the picture of plant or the place so you can record your picture and the value in another page. When the data has been saved and shared you don't want to keep the data. You can click clear icon to clear all data. Select yes. Now the data has been cleared.